Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an editable rose gold effect in Photoshop. I've shown you how to do something very similar to this before, but the text in that video was not editable. So you had to plan out your words and fonts before you applied all of your layer styles in that one. So I'm really excited about this one because you get all the depth and light variations. Plus you can change your font or words very easily. And not only that, but you can switch from rose gold to a gold text effect or any other color without having to plan any of that stuff in advance. So you can pretty much keep this as a template if you wanted to and then just change out your words and fonts later on. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the new document. I'm gonna come here to File, New, and I'm gonna be starting with the 1920 by 1080 72 resolution RGB 8-bit. Um, we're gonna switch the background to black only because it's gonna show up better on camera. This is completely up to you what color you want your background to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. Let me go ahead and open up my layer panel. I'm going to come over here to the text tool and just type in rose. I'm going to make this much bigger. Uh, let me come into my character and just change this up a little bit. So if you want to come into character, you'll come here to window character, just in case you were wondering. The font I'm using is called Cormorant SC regular. Let me bump this up to 860. Maybe that's too big. Yeah, that's perfect. 860 on this one. We're going to change the color here to just a basic gray. So that's going to be RGB 128, 128, 128, or just bright 50% right here. And go ahead and click OK for that. Now we're going to add some layer styles to this. So I'm going to come here to the effects menu and I'm going to choose gradient overlay. For this style, we're going to be adding a gradient map over the top of all of this. So you'll see these variations in light when we add this gradient overlay, that uh, gradient map that we add to the top is going to apply color based on this right here. And the reason I'm telling you this is so that if you need to come back and adjust where that light is hitting, you can come back here to the gradient overlay and do it here. Let me give you the settings really quickly. The blend mode is overlay. Dither is selected. Opacity 50%. Uh, I'll come back to the gradient here in a minute. Reflected is the style, angle 90, scale 100%. Let's come in here to the gradient. Uh, I'm in the gradient editor right now, starting with black at location 0%. And then we've got this 50% gray color right in the middle. So you can put this right at 50%. And then we have just a basic white at location 100%. And again, because we're going to have a gradient map applied to this, you can come back in here and move and shift things in this area if you don't like the way your gradient is hitting or the way the colors are laying down. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So I just wanted to show you that and I'm going to come back to this later on just to give you an example of it. For now, let's go ahead and go to the next layer style. We're going to be using an inner shadow. So the inner shadow is also going to dictate how the color is applied to some degree, meaning you can see right here how it just got darker. So the color is obviously going to be darker around these areas. And we want that because that's going to give these letters depth. This inner shadow blend mode is multiply. Color is black. Overlay 35% angle 90 degrees. And we'll go ahead and leave the distance and the choke at zero. And we'll bring our size up to 25 pixels. Here in the contour, we're using a ring contour. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that little down arrow. If you don't see these here, sometimes they're not all loaded. You can just come here and choose contours at the bottom. That'll load all of the contours. So you can just hover over the top of it and it'll give you the name of the contour. So this is the one that we're going to be using. Noise is 0% for this and that's pretty much it. All right, next we're going to add a stroke. So go ahead and click on stroke. By the way, if you don't have these here, you can come here um, and you'll have a list of everything that I have up here down at the bottom. So if there's something that's missing, just make sure to check that little FX icon down at the bottom for it. So with the stroke, we're going to use a size of five pixels. So we just want it to be around that, that area right here on the very outer portion of this. 
but the position is still going to be inside because we want to match up the lighting so we'll leave the blend mode at overlay opacity at 50 percent and make sure that overprint is selected otherwise it won't match up with the lighting that's what that's on the inside the fill type is going to be gradient you'll just click on that little down arrow choose gradient from there style is linear angle 90 degrees scale 100 percent and then for our gradient uh, we're using this one right here this is a custom gradient that I'm going to be putting up on my website for free. You can download it very easily. Once you have that downloaded, all you have to do is come here to import and then locate it uh, on your computer and it'll pop it right in here. So you'd come in here and make adjustments in order to get that color exactly where you want it. That's it for all of our layer styles. And next I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm going to click on the little plus icon down there. To add a new layer I'm going to fill it with white which is our background color so command and delete to fill this with our background color and then I'm going to come here to filter noise add noise and I'm filling it with 100% uniform make sure monochromatic is checked and click OK I'm going to change the blend mode here to soft light and I'm going to drop the opacity down to about 15% or so. You can bring this up or down depending on how much texture you want, if you want any texture at all. So this noise is basically optional. You can uh, add it or not. All right, so we've got that. Now we're going to go ahead and add our gradient map. So I'm going to click right here on these adjustment layers and I'm going to choose gradient map. And then let me go ahead and click on that. I'm going to choose that same gradient. We're using this rose gold gradient. For those of you who are members of the lab, you're also going to get all of these different gold styles right here. You'll get a couple of copper and then you'll get another rose gold. So look out for these gradients inside of the lab if you're a member of the lab. If you're not, you can subscribe in the footer of any page at prettywebs.com and you'll have access to all of this for free. So you can kind of get an idea of what we're going for here, but now we have all of this stuff to deal with here. So what I'm going to do is come here to the text layer and I'm going to actually add that to its own folder so that all of these layer styles are applied first. And then we'll just go ahead and clip the noise layer. If you hold down your option or alt key and then hover right here between the group and that layer, you'll see that little square with the down arrow. You'll just click there to add that again with this one, holding down the option key and click to add that in there. For some reason it didn't add this to the group. So we're just going to put it inside the group and you can see that all of that stuff was applied now. Next, what I want to do is bring down that texture just a little bit. So I'm going to come here to the mask and add a mask to that. And I'm going to come to the gradient tool. I'm going to choose just a basic uh, black to white gradient. Click OK. And I'm going to use the reflected and I'm going to make sure that reverse is turned on. And I'm just going to click and drag up. So I want it only to be visible in this section right here. So if I click from here to here, it's going to apply it to there, you know, like this, this middle section. Basically, you can see that right here. This is completely up to you. You don't even, if you don't want texture, just remove it. So like I said, this is an optional layer. And this one right here is the color. So if you don't like the way that this is working, you can shift your colors here. I'm going to open that back up. I just want to show you that quickly. So if you don't like the way the color is laying, you can come in and shift all of this stuff here to get exactly what you want. So now that you have the whole thing set up, all you have to do now is come over here to the text itself. I want to change this to gold. So I can come in here and change the font at any time and I'm not going to lose any of those effects that I added to this layer, which I love. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.